Back in the 50s, the term rhythm and blues was a marketing term that the recording industry was using to indicate that these were records made by black artists and would be marketed to a black audience. They weren't played on major radio stations and they weren't sold in most record stores either. Well, I was amazed at, at the numbers, like Rose had 850 songs published and by such legendary artists and, and I just, you know, I couldn't get over that, but as I got to know her, it was her story that really amazed me. And, and that's what I'd like to share with you a little bit about the music industry, but also about how she got there. She was the first female that broke into the white male dominated music business in the early 1950s. It was an incredible feat. She was before Carole King and, and all the other uh, Brill building female songwriters that they, they talk about and they do Broadway shows about. But Rosemary McCoy was really special. She wrote both words and music, and she did it as an independent songwriter. She wasn't attached to Motown or to uh, Atlantic or, or, or anyone. She did it on her own 